my friends. So this morning we are going to read The Bunny's Alphabet Eggs. The Easter Bunny looked around his burrow with pride. He had worked all year on his eggs and they were all beautifully painted and carefully stacked on shelves and tables and armchairs. He only had a few more eggs to paint. Those eggs can wait until tomorrow, thought the Easter Bunny with a yawn. He crawled into bed and fell asleep with his ears flopped over his eyes. He dreamed that it was raining and his nose was getting wet. He heard plop, plop, ploppity, plop. The Easter Bunny jumped out of bed and his feet splashed in water. Water dripped on his head, drippity, drippity. He looked up and a drop of water hit him in the eye. His roof was leaking. The Easter Bunny ran to get pans from the kitchen. He put them under the drips. The pans filled with water and sloshed about on the floor. Then the Easter Bunny looked at his eggs. Water had dripped down and washed off all the beautiful paint. The water ran in pink, red, blue, and green puddles. My eggs, cried the Easter Bunny, but then he realized that his bedroom was filling with water. Oh dear, I wish I knew how to swim, he said as the bed began to float. He pulled himself up on the bed as it floated into the living room. Then it floated into the kitchen. He grabbed a pan from a shelf in the kitchen and used it to paddle to the front door. His bed bumped out the door and into the sunshine. It's not raining, said the Easter Bunny, blinking his eyes and twitching his nose. Where is that water coming from? And my eggs, what am I going to do? Suddenly, he heard whistling. He turned around and saw Mr. Rabbit in dungarees, watering his ground over his burrow. The ground was dug up in neat little rows. What are you doing? cried the Easter Bunny, untangling himself from the slopping and sopping sheets. I'm watering this vegetable garden I just planted, said Mr. Rabbit cheerfully, but the ground soaks up the water as fast as fast. These little seeds must be thirsty. To the thirsty, cried the Easter Bunny, you planted your garden right over my burrow. The water is running into my house and my eggs, my beautiful eggs are ruined and tomorrow is Easter. said Mr. Rabbit. I didn't know your house was here. What am I going to do? The Easter Bunny pulled on his ears. I can't possibly paint all these eggs by tomorrow. Mr. Rabbit twitched his whiskers. Well, I have an idea, he said. My children could help you. Your children, the Easter Bunny frowned. How many children? I have 10 children, said Mr. Rabbit proudly. They could paint all the eggs you need. I don't know, said the Easter Bunny, shaking his head, but oh, I don't have a choice. I must get my eggs ready. All right, send over your children. Mr. Rabbit disappeared and the Easter Bunny went into his burrow. The floor was muddy and all his eggs were washed white. Before long, ten little bunnies arrived to help. The Easter Bunny began to show them how he painted eggs. He twirled an egg on one paw, where it spun round. With a brush in the other paw, he painted stripes and dots and diamonds. The ten little bunnies gasped. Let me try, cried Basil, the largest of the little bunnies. He tried to twirl an egg, but before he could get his brush ready, the egg fell on the floor and cracked. No, no, said the Easter Bunny. Oh, my. You little bunnies will have to paint the eggs another way. The little bunnies grabbed brushes and pots of paint.
What will you paint on the eggs? asked the Easter Bunny anxiously. Do you know how to make designs? We know, we know how to make our letters, cried the bunnies. We can draw the alphabet. Well then, put one letter on each egg, said the Easter Bunny, throwing up his paws. Basil painted eggs with I and J and K. Rosemary painted eggs with N and O and P. All the little bunnies made different letters as they dabbed and sloshed and spattered. By sunset, all of the Easter Bunny's eggs were painted and tucked gently into baskets. The little bunnies went skipping home, but the Easter Bunny sat in his armchair, frowning. Oh, what will the ch village children think when they find these eggs? They will miss my beautiful eggs. Oh, oh. He pulled his whiskers and frowned even more. That night, he could hardly sleep, and when he woke up, he had a headache. But he knew he had to hide the eggs. He went to the village and hid the eggs in bushes and behind trees. For the first time, he hoped that no one would find them because he was ashamed of them. But before the Easter Bunny could tiptoe away, he heard children coming out of their houses. The Easter Bunny crept behind a tree trunk. They will be so unhappy when they see those eggs, he thought. Suddenly, he heard shouts from the village children. Oh dear, oh dear, said the Easter Bunny. He wanted to run away, but he listened to the shouts. The children did not sound happy. They sounded ha unhappy. They sounded happy. The Easter Bunny tiptoed closer to hear what the children said. Look, cried one, I can spell foot, F-O-O-T, with my eggs. And I can spell sky, said another, S-K-Y. I can spell more words than you. I found more eggs. The children were laughing. The Easter Bunny hopped home. He flopped into his damp armchair. The children liked the eggs, he said to himself over and over again in amazement. Just then he heard a knock on his door. He looked up and saw ten little bunnies crowded in the doorway. Look, said Basil. He twirled an egg and caught it just before it fell. I know I can get better, he said. Basil, you don't need to paint the eggs the way I do, said the Easter Bunny. You have your own way. But we were wondering if we could help you paint your eggs next year. We like helping you. The Easter Bunny smiled for the first time that day. Basil, I could not do it without you, said the Easter Bunny, and he gave each of the little bunnies a big Easter. The end.